good morning guys welcome to today today i'm sporting my after birthday hair i'm gonna fix that a little later <laughs> anyway welcome to today the reason i show you my crazy messy hair every single day is so that you guys know that it's normal to have crazy messy hair sometimes Sometimes it's normal to have it every single day, and it's okay. It's okay. It doesn't have to affect you. It doesn't have to make you have a bad day. It doesn't mean that people should judge you. It should just be how it is. Anyway, good morning, and welcome to today, and I cannot wait to go down to the barn and see our horses. Hello. His foot held up really well. Yeah. Are you being sarcastic or is it, did it actually, okay, today's the day we brush I our horses. Why are you wearing that coat? I just washed it. It's a barn coat. So he's like, oh no, let's not go to crazy town again. <laughs> Yesterday, uh, uh, two days ago, I washed all the girls' winter stuff that they've been wearing down to the barn that they're not supposed to wear down to the barn so we could go out for my supper with my family and my family wouldn't be like, ew, you smell like a horse. My barn coat. So then, uh, yesterday was crazy town. We were ready to go and all their clean stuff smelled like barn. So I was like, you guys are crazy. We have to stop this. Yeah, sometimes parents lose their cool. And I'm a parent and sometimes I lose my cool, and Sophie just, they both my kids just are like this. And they just stand there, and, and Gabby, believe it or not, even though she kind of tries to act tough, she's like her dad, and she just gets quiet, and does whatever she needs to do, and just kind of tries to ignore the chaos. But yeah, sometimes I do lose my mind, and I want you guys to know that I'm not I perfect. I know where I got that from. You got it from dad. I know. Somebody challenges me. Oh. Hi, little mini. Hello. I hope you're nice today. You guys should know that miniatures act like that. Like even though she's mean to Gracie, she never hurts her. Oh my gosh. What the heck were you doing last night? What? Gracie. I don't know who. Gabby, you're brushing this. I feel like this is not the first time it's happened. But it, it is pure. You guys can't see. Mode. I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Back away from the mini. This mini loves you so much. Uh oh! No! Make her move her feet. I grab mom. No! Head. No! <laughs> Jesus. Gabby, give them their food. This is not a, a willow thing. This is a us thing with the food. Like, she's getting food no. territorial with Gracie, and no, we need to stop it. Because Gracie went close to Willow, close enough that Willow could just go. I know, but it shouldn't matter. Anyway, I just wanted to say thank you guys again so much for all the birthday wishes and all the nice things that you guys have said. Uh, some people sent me personal messages to say happy birthday. One boy, Ryder, that sent us the magazines in recently, it sent us a bunch of stuff. Uh, he sent me a, a video message. Oh my gosh, so cute. Like, he is so adorable and so kind um so yeah i there's so many of you guys that i feel so connected to i feel so strongly like one girl a fan account on instagram was saying you know thank you so much for understanding who i am and like a lot of the messages that you guys sent touched my heart in ways that you can't even imagine so i just want to say thank you for that people think that having a youtube channel is about sharing your life and sharing your adventure but in actuality our channel i really feel um, is about us growing together, all of us, and sharing each other. Like, I know so many of you guys, and I'm so grateful for so many of you guys in our life. Oh my gosh. That's my hair in the morning. Yeah, that's my hair right now. If you believe in me, how will you let me in? If you are ready. Stop. 
I know, we need to all bond with him. Because, yeah, well then you need to be there for him. Yeah, but he, I had to get dressed. <laughs> yeah, getting dressed is kind of important, right? Mm -hmm. I posted a picture on Instagram and I'm like, is it just me or does Sophie and Finn look the same? Like you guys look so much the same. Your personality, your hair color, your skin color is almost like you guys complement one another. Oh. He looks a lot better. Yeah, let's open this. I picked the scab off yesterday. Ew, you picked the scab off yesterday. Ew, you no, guys. That looks good. Look. I know, but. It's gorgeous. Uh, yeah. Before, the hole in his head used to be that whole circle. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm. Stella, you're peeing. Aw. Oh. You Storm... like it's only right here, here, and here. I like the way you look at it, Gabby. I like the way she looks at all of our tribulations with Storm as Finn, teaching moments. I just realized this now. Then just grabbed a hold of my sleeve and played around with it. Yeah, he's like, let's go. Come on. He knows what to do. Like, you put a halter on Finn and he shoves his head right in there. Just like Gracie, yeah. huh? sitting and Sophie just happened to notice this you guys it is bloody hand it has bloody hand oh I think it's hands cut open don't you touch probably it. tried to fight so who who's who's gonna get rid of it you obviously okay good I'm good with that <laughs> okay here's how I'm gonna do it <laughs> she's embarrassed she's like I don't know what to do they're all leaving. They're all leaving the room. Whoever it is, it's a good thing that they're killing mice that are in the house. I just don't want them to believe it at my lap. Oh, look at Ruby's looking. It's Ruby. I think Dustmit Pan must be catching it. And Ruby brought it to me. Prepare for a rant. Prepare for a Laura rant. So basically, it's 1130 and we're just starting school. We're just, I mean, we did a uh, reading together, but we're just starting school. And I am so frustrated. One of the perks of homeschool, which you guys might not know this unless you homeschool, but one of the perks of homeschool is being able to set your own schedule and set your own routine and don't have to get up at the crack of dawn. You don't have to be ready at certain times and time constraints is a big trigger for me. Well, today broke the bank and I, today I am done with that mentality. Um, it is 11.30, my girls literally will push any activity so long and so that they don't have to move on. And so now, today, our schedule is born. Today our schedule is born every day at 8 a.m. You have breakfast if you're not downstairs and dressed and ready at 8 a.m. Are you listening, Gabby? If you're not down at breakfast at 8 a.m. and it is 8.30, then you miss breakfast. You miss it. And then at 8.30, we leave this house every single morning to do chores. Got it? I'm, I'm like a drill sergeant now, you guys. I got Willow in trouble in yesterday's video, and suddenly I feel like I'm the boss of the world. 9 a.m., we have to be back at the house to do uh, house chores. At 9.30, school starts. And then at 1, we have to go back down, feed the horses lunch, and do barn chores. Where's our free time? After you're done the barn stuff. After. After all of our barn stuff in the afternoon. That's when your free time what? starts. 
What if we're going early and we can't do that schedule because we're going really early? So early is okay, but it's never going to be later than 8 a.m. that you have to be down here. So you guys need to set your own alarms. What? Okay, well, you can figure it out. But if you are not sitting at school. Yes, wake up at 7. Set your alarm. How it is now is that I wake up. Whenever I wake them up is when our day gets started. And yeah, this is going to suck for me too because I'm not saying they're the only ones that don't, you know, really stick with it and stick with the schedule, do what they need to get done on time. But I'm saying starting from today, we have a schedule. And the bad, sad news is that if they don't get where they need to be by the right time, it means there's no computer that night. And you guys know... Chores, no, there's not going to be any chores, extra chores. Yeah. Horses are excited for lunch. Even me, hold me and let me in. If you are ready, I'm going to reach you. I've got a feeling you're going to reach me too. You know, if you ride lesson horses, then every single week, however often you have lessons, you just show up and ride your horse. But when you have actual horses, you're always dealing with some kind of stuff. You end up riding shavings. You're either dealing with weather or lack of arena or lame horses. You're always healing something or driving in or like there's just so many things. Anyway, today I spent some time figuring out lessons. We haven't had a lesson. We missed our lesson last week with Brandon because the storm is lame. Many. See how Stella doesn't put up with the Minnie's attitude at all? And that's why the Minnie doesn't give her too much attitude. See? She wants to. She's an old lady, you guys. Well, not really. She's a middle-aged lady. She's going through hormone problems. It makes her grouchy. Right? You're the oldest one in our farm. That's why you be so grouchy. I'm coming, Stella Bell. You listening to the kids? I almost got murdered by the mini. She ran between me and Stella and there wasn't enough room. That, no, yeah, I don't know if I was videoing. I don't think I was, I was not videoing. But literally it's walking out, Stella's walking beside me. I screamed, my classic Laura scream. What happened? The girl saw it happen. What so happened? So Stella was, Sophia, come be Stella. Come be Stella. This is a reenactment. Okay, so you need to walk. Laura almost got murdered by the mini reenactment. Okay, okay. Stella. Okay, you're right say. there. Stay in there. Pretend you're walking. Okay, so. And Willow was right here. So, get Sophie and I were like this, walking. This Stella. is Stella. This way, over here. Over here. Stella Ow. and I, and we were walking out into the field. And then this is Willow behind you. Willow said, move Stella. Stella didn't notice or care. And Willow went. <laughs> that did happen. I didn't know what was happening. I had a camera in one hand, hay in the other. So I did what any self-respecting grown woman would do. I had to start screaming. Because. Um, you had hay on you. And then we started laughing and almost died from laughing. I could have died. But I mean, at least the ground's not hard this time. If I fell, I would have fell face first, smuck in the mud. I told them they could ride and I would do chores because I need our, I like our horses being exercised. Today I'm gonna wear my leather tall boots and I'm gonna use that spray. You know that new spray that I bought? That you spray, the sticky spray? I'm gonna bring it and I have some wet wipes, some leather wet wipes that I'm gonna use to clean. I'm just gonna spray it on my boots but then I'll clean the saddle off after too. And I'm gonna have the best legs ever and Fiona's gonna be like, wow, what happened to you? You turned into such a good rider since the last time you were here and it's gonna all be the sticky spray. Just joking, but at least I'm gonna find out how that stuff works. Lost again, going back around. Dreaming of a time when I get things right. Lost in the shadows of a million stars. Shouldn't they invite me? Right, here far? comes Stella. Here she comes. Oh, yeah. What a saint of a horse this is. Send a prayer if I'm out of love. 